Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what the person who is thinking about you is hiding from you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right. So let's go ahead and get into these messages. Give me messages please, Holy Spirit. For everyone that watches this reading. When it comes to the person who is thinking of my viewers. What is that person hiding from my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is that person hiding from my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right. So let's see what comes out here. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have shattered. So this person is hurt. Definitely feeling broken at the moment. For some of you, they feel like a failure or they feel as though they fail you. This person is also suffering in silence. For some of you, there are certain things that this person is desiring from you. There are certain desires that they have when it comes to having a relationship with you, but those desires remain unspoken. So this person is in their feelings right now. It's giving me energy of someone who feels as though they messed up. We also have masked. So this is someone who could be hiding their true feelings. For some of you, this person thinks that you're concealing some things from them as well, especially when it comes to how you feel about them. But yeah, a lot of you don't trust this person and you could be viewing them as deceptive right now. Give me more. What is this person hiding from my viewers currently when it comes to love? Yeah, this is giving me energy of suppressed feelings resurfacing. Thank you. We have epiphany. So this person has been doing some self-reflecting. And this is giving energy of them having an aha moment. So I feel like this person is realizing how much you mean to them. They feel connected to you on a soul level. For a few of you, this could be a twin flame. For some of you, this person is wanting to apologize to you, but as of now, they could be operating out of their ego. Now, for a few of you, even if this person were to come in and apologize to you, you would possibly feel as though the apology is insincere. And you could possibly feel that way because this person's actions doesn't always match their words. At the top of the deck, we have time. So this person is worried about time running out. For others of you, there's procrastination energy here. So this person could be delaying reaching out to you. Give me more. What is this person hiding from my viewers when it comes to love? Thank you. We have healing. And that card came out in reverse. So this is someone who is not over you. Now, this is going to be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But for a few of you, this person isn't taking good care of themselves. It could be in regards to their health, in regards to their physical body. For some of you, it could even be their mental or emotional health. But regardless, there's a certain aspect of this person that they're not taking good care of. At the top of the deck, we have established. So for some of you, they're having some issues when it comes to their money. Hmm. Give me more. So they could be spending recklessly right now. Thank you. We have narcissists. So this person could be hiding that they're narcissistic or that they are a narcissist. 
even though this person comes off like they have this huge ego, they come off very prideful at times, underneath the surface, they're actually very fragile. Family is at the bottom of the deck. So this person could come from a bloodline of narcissists, could be a generational curse. Hmm. And see, the crazy thing is, if this person is an opportunist or if they're a narcissist, they feel kind of stuck in it. It's giving energy of, this is the way that I am. You can take it or leave it. It's giving that type of energy. Huh. At the top of the deck, we have tension. So this is someone who's stressed out. For some of you, they could be worried about a family member or about a family situation. So yeah, they need to be careful. This person could be experiencing migraines or they could be having a lot of stressful things going on in their life right now. And this could possibly end up affecting their health if they're not careful. But yeah, there's something narcissistic about this person's bloodline or about certain people in their family. If they are a narcissist, they're not the only one. I feel like this person could have been raised by a narcissist or there are other people that they're close to in their family who are narcissists as well. So that's why I feel as though this person thinks that they just are the way that they are, that maybe they were raised that way. And so it's giving energy of take it or leave it. But see, a lot of you are tired of that type of mentality. You may be tired of dealing with someone who burdens you or who burns you out. Hmm. Give me more. So this person isn't over you. And I feel like as soon as they get an opportunity, they're going to be coming toward you. Also keep in mind that this person could come in and try and interrupt your healing process. Because if you notice, the narcissist or the character on the narcissist card is walking right toward healing in reverse. So that lets me know that this person could try and interrupt your healing process. Thank you. We have sipping. So this person could be gossiping about you. They're either gossiping or they could be spreading rumors. Especially if you cut them off or if you free yourself from this connection. This is going to be specific. Please don't force it to fit. But this is giving me energy of this person trying to change the way that certain people view you. Especially if you have mutual friends or mutual contacts. It's like they're trying to make people look at you differently. For some of you, even if you freed yourself from this person, they could be telling people that they are the one that left you alone. Hmm. Also, with the puzzle card being here right next to cutting ties, if this person did walk away from you, they're a little bit conflicted about it. They feel like they made the wrong choice or they're wishing that they would have taken more time to try and make things work with you. So if this person is gossiping about you or if they're spreading false rumors, it may be because they're bitter. Bitter because you're standing up for yourself or bitter because you're limiting access to you. Give me more. Also, be careful about who you're telling your business to. I see some nosy people coming toward you. Be careful when it comes to that. Thank you. All right, we have tension. And that card fell out right on top of suffering and silence. So ever since you distanced yourself from this person, they've been stressed out ever since. But the tension card did want to come out crossing. So I feel like this person is very good at hiding their suffering. There may have been times when they came off like they weren't worried about the relationship or they weren't bothered by whatever happened. 
for some of you, they may have even come off as though they didn't care about you or they didn't care about the connection. But deep down, this person feels broken. Yeah, see, they're hiding how they truly feel about you being distant. Now, those of you who are dealing with this person currently or if you have been communicating with them, I feel like this person is concealing how much they truly worry about you leaving them behind or about you cutting them off. That really bothers them a lot. So, yo, this person is really tense, really emotional right now. Like I said, they feel broken. But see, some of you may feel like dealing with this person was a nightmare. There are others of you who do want to reconcile with this person. But I still feel like you're tired of their narcissistic behavior. Yo, this person feels as though you were their dream come true. So that may be another reason why they feel like a failure. All they're left with now are broken dreams. Give me more. What is this person hiding from my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. We have clingy. So for some of you, what they're not telling you is that they know dealing with them would be a dead end relationship. This is someone who is clinging on to their old ways. They seem to be very stubborn. But I also feel like if the two of you have disconnected from one another, they haven't completely cut you off. Even if this person is being distant, they have a habit of returning back to their exes. With exhausted being at the bottom of the deck, some of you feel like you don't have anything more to give to this connection or you could feel it so this person has nothing to offer you. Yeah, you may be tired of dealing with their psychotic behaviors or you may be tired of dealing with them being abusive. This is definitely giving me either mental or verbal abuse. For some of you, it could even be physical. Hmm. But see, the crazy thing is, I feel like this person is tired of their own self. <laughs> I really feel like this person is burned out with themselves. Everywhere they go, chaos follows or upheaval. Yeah, them being abusive or chaotic will be their downfall if they're not careful. Some of you have made up your mind that you are leaving this person behind. Others of you are trying your best to not lose hope in this person, but you're still tired of dealing with the upheaval that this person brings. Hmm. So yeah, this person knows that you're tired of them, but I feel like they're tired of themselves. They have burnt themselves out. They seem to be burdened right now, especially mentally. This person feels like the walls are closing in on them or they feel like they're between a rock and a hard place. They feel like their life is a nightmare or a disaster right now. Hmm. Give me another card. What is this person hiding from my viewers when it comes to love? What is this person hiding from my viewers when it comes to love? Thank you. We have hopeful. So what this person isn't telling you is that you've inspired them. You inspired this person through being optimistic or by being positive. They are still hopeful that the two of you will reconnect. 
at the top of the deck we have blocked so they're hopeful that the two of you will reconnect but some of you are blocking this person out of your life now for others of you if this person moved on from you or if they cut you off I do feel like at some point they're going to come back in trying to rekindle things with you but others of you feel like this person really doesn't have anything to say to you you may want them to stop reaching out to you you're just focused on moving on with your life so some of you have set up some really strong boundaries when it comes to this person and you're not about to play any games with them give me another card what is this person hiding from my viewers when it comes to love thank you we have glow up so as of now, this person is trying their best to level up when it comes to new opportunities or when it comes to their career. Now, for a few of you, they could make it seem as though they're doing better than what they're really doing. This is reminding me of yesterday's reading. If I'm not mistaken, I was telling you guys that this person feels as though if they were to do better financially or if they could level up in the material world, then you would be willing to give them another chance. But see, what this person doesn't understand is you're looking for someone to give back what you give to them. And what I mean by that is when you're nurturing someone, you would like for them to give you that same energy in return. Yeah, some of you just want to be surrounded by good vibes. You could be focused on your wealth or focused on your stability. Some of you are closing yourself off to certain people or you may be a little bit antisocial right now. Hmm. But this person definitely feels left out in the cold by you and it's making them paranoid. They can see that you're guarded. They can see that you're cautious. For some of you, they may try to make it seem as though you have no reason to feel that way. But in reality, this person knows exactly why you don't trust them. This person is aware that they didn't give you what you gave them. So whatever you brought to the connection, this person wasn't giving you that back in return. And they're aware of it. For some of you, this is giving me energy of this person wishing that they could change the past or wishing that they would have done things differently. For a few of you, you may have experienced a glow up, whether that is in regards to your finances or in regards to your career. You may be doing better. And if you are, this person is concealing the way that they feel about that. Okay, it's almost like they feel some type of way about you leveling up in life or you doing better. Hmm. Give me one more card. How does this person, how does this person feel about my viewers? Thank you. Again, we have apology. So for some of you, they either want to apologize for something that they said or something that they did. They could have said something hurtful or they did something hurtful. This person has a tendency to take rash actions. Okay, or they take things to the extreme. There is also some envy here on this person's behalf. They're either discontent with the thought of you finding someone better or they may resent you to an extent for standing on your word, for taking your power back, for being disciplined, for doing whatever you need to do. Some of you have tapped into your masculine energy, meaning you're getting things done. So whatever you feel like needs to be done in regards to this person or in regards to this connection many of you are doing it even if you don't want to you're doing it and this person resents you for that hmm. 
I'm going to clarify a few of these cards and then I'm going to end the reading. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit. In regards to this person. When it comes to the person who is thinking of my viewers. Why is shattered here for what that person is hiding from my viewers when it comes to love? Why is shattered here for how that person... Thank you. We have a strength card. See, they're losing strength. They're losing strength. And for some of you, especially those of you that have been holding back from this person, it bothers them so badly. This is someone who didn't think you would ever be able to pull away from them. Mm. Cards are flying everywhere. But yeah, as I was saying, they didn't think that you would ever be able to stay away from them or to pull away from them. With the tower card being at the bottom of the deck, it was a rude awakening for this person. Now they're trapped in their head about it because you're no longer giving them the attention that they desire. Hmm. For some of you, you may even act like this person is invisible or they could feel invisible. It's like you're not giving this person any attention. Hmm. So, yo, they're in their head and they feel like everything around them is crashing down. Some of you are definitely isolating yourself, at least from this person. But yeah, they're feeling shattered because they feel as though the ball is in your court or they feel like you have the upper hands. They're definitely feeling away. They expected themselves to be stronger than this. As of now, they feel weak. Give me more. Why is suffering and silence here for what this person is hiding from my viewers? Why is suffering and silence here for what this person? Thank you. We have the two of cups. My goodness. So this person isn't telling you how much they want to be with you or their desire for the two of you to get closer. They do want to come together in harmony, but for some of you, they're not revealing their true feelings when it comes to that. Yeah, they feel like they mess everything up. They're hoping that they'll be able to prove themselves or redeem themselves in some way, but they feel like it's not going to be easy. So this person is really burdened and stressed out. They also feel like they have a lot on their plate. For some of you, I feel like there could be one or two people who they're confiding in, especially in regards to their feelings when it comes to you. So they feel like they messed everything up between the two of you. Give me another card. Why is Epiphany here for what this person is not telling my viewers? Thank you. We have the Six of Swords. So this is giving me energy of this person feeling as though they knew that they were going to lose you one day. There's a lot of mental conflicts going on when it comes to this person. And they're really bothered because you either let them leave or they're bothered because they let you get away. This person is conflicted because they feel as though they should have done more to fight for this connection. So now they're over here feeling hurt. They may also be thinking a lot about an argument or a fight that the two of you had. And it's giving energy of this person taking things too far. Yeah, they're doing some reflecting in regards to some type of argument or fight. 
and they feel like they handled things poorly. This is giving me energy of, dang, why did I say that? Or why did I do that? The three of swords can also be about an injustice. So this person knows that they're wrong about how they handled some type of disagreement or some type of conflict between the two of you. <sighs> so they're under a lot of stress right now. Give me more. Why is Narcissist here for what this person is not telling my viewers? Why is Narcissist here? And they also know that they need to let go of old habits or old ways that are no longer serving them. They know that they need to do better. Thank you. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is someone who is somewhat of an opportunist. They have a tendency to invest in people or things that they feel will pay off for them in the long run. With the Nine of Swords along with the High Priestess being at the bottom of the deck, this person is mentally haunted. I wouldn't be surprised if they're experiencing insomnia or possibly anxiety. And for some of you, they're bothered because you're coming off so calm, cool, and collected. Even if you are in your feelings, you're coming off very strong right now. Hmm. For a few of you, they're upset with themselves because they didn't trust their intuition or they didn't follow their intuition. So they're all upset, but deep down, they know that they only have themselves to blame. Give me more. Why is tension here? That came out fast. We have the eight of wands and that card came out crossing. So they're a little bit tense right now because they feel as though things are at a standstill between the two of you or they feel as though things are slowing down. For some of you, there could be blocks in communication. Hmm. They also feel as though things are no longer in their control. For a few of you... This person may be upset because they feel as though you're not as into them anymore or they feel like you're not really doing anything to try and make the relationship work. I feel like there may have been times in the past when the two of you would argue or this person would become distant and you would be really quick to take action or to reach out. But many of you are no longer doing that. You're just doing the best that you can to move on with your life. So even though this person is trying to come off as though they're unaffected, it's all a lie. Hmm. So they feel as though things are no longer in their control. Give me more. Why is clingy here for what this person is hiding from my viewers? Thank you. We have the five of pentacles. And that card wanted to come out crossing as well. So remember what I was telling you guys about this person having a habit of returning to people from their past? This is confirmation when it comes to that. For some of you, they're hoping that you'll return to them or they're hoping that you'll accept them back when they try and return to you. They feel left out in the cold right now. For some of you, this person is hiding how insecure they are or how hard of a time they're having when it comes to coping with this painful reality. If you have decided to pull away from this person or if you've decided to walk away from them, they view you as a, as a huge loss. Hmm. For a few of you, there's something about this person's health. They could have some type of health issue or there's something here about this person being in trouble. It could be trouble financially, having trouble when it comes to their health. For a few of you, there may be someone in particular around this person that's leading them down the wrong path. 
They seem to be a little bit of a follower or they're easily influenced. Give me more. Why is hopeful here for what this person is hiding from my viewers? Why is hopeful here? Thank you. We have the page of wands. So they're hoping that at some point they'll be able to get through to you. For some of you, they're hopeful in regards to them being able to take this relationship in a new direction. Yeah. They're also hoping that at some point you'll be excited about them again. Or that you'll be more excited about the potential of where this relationship could go. But see, in reality, a lot of you feel like this person only sells you dreams or you may feel like they want you to wear rose colored glasses also remember what i was telling you guys about this person feeling as though you inspired them in some way shape or form it's through your voice your voice is very powerful there are certain things that you have said to this person that was very inspirational and they may not have let you know how big of an inspiration you are to them give me one more card why is apology here for what this person is hiding from my viewers why is apology here thank you we have the ten of wands so they want to apologize for all that they put you through all of the stress, all of the burdens, all of the things that they've done. For some of you, this person definitely burdened you on a mental level. This is also giving me energy of this person wanting to apologize for you, either being unexpressive or not always keeping their emotions in check. I just feel like there are times when this person would take things too far and now they're regretting it because they feel like they lost out on a blessing. Losing you has been a nightmare for this person. That's why at some point they're going to come back in offering to you. They're going to take a slow approach initially, but if that doesn't work, they're going to pursue you more aggressively. But as of now, this person is having a very hard time when it comes to letting you go. This is also giving me energy of this person regretting some type of choice that they made. And this could be in regards to continuing to live a lifestyle or to make choices that were causing burdens in the relationship. I feel like this person made it seem like it was hard for them to change or it was hard for them to do better. So now they have to deal with the consequences of that. Mm. So yeah, they do want to apologize, but some of you are going to feel as though it's insincere because I feel like this person has a tendency to try and get back in your good graces, but then they don't really do anything when you do give them another chance. They just sit there and do nothing. They either sit and do nothing or they continue to do the same things that they've done before in the past. Things that they know cause burdens in the connection. So at this point, a lot of you may feel as though talk is sheep. Because that's what I heard. Talk is sheep. Mm. All right. And so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.